along to another game that has a lot of interest. I think people statewide are, are kind of interested in seeing this because it matches up one of the teams that's supposed to be one of the best in the state uh, right from the get-go. You're yeah. talking Cathedral, making the drive to Kendallville to battle an East Noble team that uh, has a lot of starters coming back. It starts with quarterback Andrew McCormick, who had really a, a transcendent year as a quarterback as a sophomore. Tremendous talent, and he's going to take another step, I think, as a junior dual threat, true dual threat guy, can really throw it, can, can run the ball. And uh, yeah, Dylan Hunley, who's a tremendous underrated wide receiver, too, that's going to be a big weapon for East Noble. So it's going to be a fun atmosphere in Kendallville on Friday. I know the, the whole town's really excited. Cathedral travels well. They'll come up. They'll tailgate and stuff. And, and I had heard that East Noble was actually going to, uh, some fans were going to get there early Friday afternoon, park their cars, and go back to work to make sure that East Noble was right up front. So the, the cathedral people didn't come in and kind of dominate their, their parking lot. So it could be an interesting and, and fun environment on Friday night. Parking lot wars in Kennebo. <laughs> we'll have highlights of that. Um, no, but if you're East Noble, uh, you know, they're known for that, the roughneck mentality, right. as they like to say. Coach Amstead says that all the time. Um, they've been known for doing it in the trenches. Uh, but you're talking about a, a cathedral team. They go 8-4 and four last year. They've got a running back coming back who I think is the odds-on favorite to win Mr. Football this year, Notre Dame-bound running back Marquis Step. I mean, how do you go about stopping what they do? Because you look at Cathedral's schedule and the teams that they play, I mean, they are gearing themselves up for a state championship run every year. That's the thing is, is you look in that on schedule and you're like, man, what are you doing if you're East Noble? And I even asked Coach Amstutz, I'm like, what are you doing? And he said, you know, uh, you know, Cathedral called us. They had an open date. You know, somebody fell through out of state and they needed a game and they saw East Noble. And you, you mentioned Marquis Stepps, a running back. He's already committed to Notre Dame. You know, Pete Werner, who's a linebacker, is already committed to Notre Dame. Ben Stewart, uh, he's going to Boston College. I mean, we can go a who's who. I think they have almost a, over a dozen guys with D1 offers. Yeah. Um, survival is what I say for East Noble. Um, can they can they uh, can they get the upset? Of course they can, um, but that it's very very slim. You know, I think you just get out of there. You're not going to play anybody as good as Cathedral the rest of the season, especially in the, in, the, in the regular season. You take your lumps. You learn a lot by your team, and you get out of there healthy. I think is the main thing. The last thing you can have is a McCormick or a Hunley or somebody like that go down mm -hmm. in a game uh, that really means nothing. You're just trying to learn a lot about your team.